Welcome back to another wonderful edition of the National Real Estate Cafe with Don Gedling and this guy, Gino Franti. <laughs> where you can find us more at nrecafe.com. That's a great website where we've got all of these that we've done. And that's the best place to hold us accountable to make sure that we were telling you the truth. Well, we have a, speaking of telling you the truth and why you need to listen on a daily basis, we really do kind of know what we're doing because we study this on a daily basis, not a weekly basis, not a monthly basis. We don't look at reports that are two months old and we actually know what we're talking about. So we're gonna go to some reports that back up what we warned you about. So let's go to this first slide, Furman. Existing home sales. Hmm. We were talking about that big dip in November that everybody was going to talk about. What did we say? Don't worry. The sky's not falling. I know it looks bad, and the mainstream media is going to say, it's horrible. It's the end of the world. The bubble has popped. All that yummy stuff. Yeah, but bottom line, we warned you there was new regulations that slowed down uh, the process, and therefore there was a lot of rollovers into December. So December and January are going to look pretty strong due to a really weak November. So you watch the media, then they'll jump on, housing is ho stronger than ever. No, it's basically, I drew that line to show you that we're just trending up, which is a great thing. Yeah, and then the other thing to find out, and this isn't in our slides, Don, um, but what we could talk about is that Ellie May, who is the loan origination software for more than half the lenders the in the nation. May hosts cupcakes, right? Not those guys. Oh. <laughs> that sounds really good, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not those guys. But they do. They have the software that most loan originators in the nation use are saying that most average transactions across the nation are somewhere between 44 and 51 days. So transaction length has gotten very, very long, and that's going to have an influence on the numbers all throughout 2016. All right, so we'll show you another chart that'll kind of back you up here. Existing home sales. So here's what we're looking at across the nation. Unfortunately, I cut it off evidently. Yeah, what happened? Okay, we'll I we'll, remember these. Yeah, I do too, because yeah. bottom line is 11.9% is the Northeast. 8.9% was the West. Right. 4.6 was the areas we the were south. talking about in the South that we're going to have trouble because of the oil situation. Right. Louisiana, Texas, etc. So things are starting to slow down there because it's not so attractive to go there for work anymore. That's right. So mark our words that you're going to see the 11.9% slow down due to weather. And then you're going to see the West Coast Whoop. go up due to weather. And then you're probably going to see the South stay stagnant worse or a little bit better due to weather but not spectacular by any means all right so you heard it right here on the national real estate cafe that the housing market remains strong and we keep telling you that so if you hear a report it's just that it's not a trend and trend is your friend right gino that's right it's the most important thing so check us out by texting nrec to the number 58885 and get these on your phone every single day. All right, or check us out at nrecafe.com or donandgino.com. We'd love to hear from you.